everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. And hello to all you people out there that are close to Western New York and those of you that have come from Western New York and those of you that miss Western New York. We have a lot of <laughs> snow right now. In fact, let me show you how, um, some snow. Jim was shoveling last night and I showed you this morning the top of the chicken house. Super high snow. You gonna shovel? Because I'll catch the shovel as you go through. <laughs> Give me the. Give you the what? The dog, dog thing. thing. Oh, sorry. Oops, I'm on it. No. Get it out of my way. Oh, it's cold out here. I have to check if there's eggs still in that one box. There might not be any more. I think I, I think they all had them. This is snow. This is a lot of snow. Oh, my stars. Thank you for doing this so I can get to the chickens easier. Last night, Jim sh shoveled the deck here for me. And I want to show you, oh, I just got this done. I want to show you the snow on top of the chicken house. I've cleaned the boxes several times. Let's check if there's eggs as long as we're out here. Oh, somebody was sitting on an egg. There's one over here. Now, do you really miss Western New York? I don't think so, but maybe you do. Maybe you liked the snow. Some of you like to ski, some of you like to snow snowshoe walk in the snow. Some of you have those poles that you would kind of like... Um, like skate poles? Yeah, skate poles. They didn't really ski ski, they... What is that called? Cross country ski. Cross country ski. ski. Yeah, it's a different type of ski. It's not a downhill ski, but it's across the country. Cross country ski. Jim used to do that. I never did that. I had a pair of skis that you'd go downhill with. But I didn't ski on a real slope, just on our back, our hill in the backyard. Now today I got a package in the mail, and I got my, from Lala Farms, I got my t-shirt. I'll open it up. I haven't opened it up yet, but I'll open it now. And I have asked for a red t-shirt, so I know it's red. It's got to be red. Because I wear red. Oh, yes, it is red. Here, you can take the little scissors, if you would, please. Yep. And I will show you all my beautiful red t-shirt that I will wear tomorrow. This is the t-shirt. It's got the La La Farm little thing on this there. And uh, look at the back. <laughs> it's so cute. I love the goats. They've got a lot of goats. You can see it, yes? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look. Okay, yeah, you can. Okay, I couldn't see because it's blocking me. But it's got a goat, a pig, and a chicken on there, on the thing in there from Glen St. Mary, Florida. Ooh, it's warm in Florida. This will fit perfectly. I asked for a medium because you know how as you get older, you get wider? <laughs> I don't plan to get too wide, but... I found that the small t-shirts don't fit me as well. Your shoulders are wider. My than shoulders they used are to wider, be. yes. And my muscles are not as big as they used to be. But you know what I noticed with drinking the water? Let's talk about water. As long as I <laughs> he brought that up about my shoulders being wider. What have I noticed with drinking the water every day? Now how do I do it? I you know, I like my coffee and I don't drink much water usually. But to drink my cup of coffee I have to drink sixteen ounces. <laughs> choke on that one. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have to drink 16 ounces of water before I can have my cup of coffee. I was drinking 8 ounces and then I decided maybe I better up it a little because it takes a lot to get through that second bottle of water. So I'm getting just about, not quite 64 ounces, just a little under, but I'm also a little bit under the weight for the 64 ounces. So that's perfect for me. I also wanted to tell you, this is something that we've been checking on, and to save someone else from the disaster, this has to do with your um, Medicare 
Yes, Medicare. Mm -hmm. And your insurance, the insurance that you have. Now, had I known this, I would have been ahead. When you retired. When I retired. Before I retired, actually. Mm -hmm. um, if you are 65 and you have to collect, you have to get your Medicare Part A. But if your insurance is not drug compatible with the Medicare that you have, I suggest you just take the whole, all of the Medicare so that you, well, let me, let me back up a little bit, people, because I'm pushing this ahead. <clears throat> i got to clear that, that choke that I almost choked on the water. Okay, now, for Medicare Part A, everybody has to take it 65 years old. Okay, now, had I taken Medicare Part B at 65, I would have saved myself from having to pay for the drug coverage that I'm paying now. I do have the zero pay plan, which is great, but because my insurance that I had was not Medicare acceptable for the drug plan, I have to pay a little bit every month to keep to have the drugs. Now the Part B, they do take money out of you. So if your insurance is less than the Part B, then stay with your, your insurance company if you plan to keep working. But make sure it's, your, your drugs are Medicare compatible. And if you are making, if you have to pay more for your insurance, then I suggest you go completely on Medicare and you can still keep working. You don't have to stop working, but you could use their insurance instead of the insurance that your company offers. This probably was very confusing, but this is something that I didn't know. Had I known that I would have to pay the rest of my life for the drugs because I had an insurance that was it was a good insurance, but it wasn't good enough because it wasn't Medicare compatible for the drugs. And so because of that, I have to pay extra every month. And you know, the drug people, they don't have a way that you can pay them online. You have to mail it out or you can have that automatically taken out. But if you have it automatically taken out, they can raise the price on you and never let you really know. Or you might miss that they raised it. And so I've decided that I would just pay it every month is how I have to do it. Do you take drugs? And I don't take any drugs yet. I don't take any medicine. And that's the sad part. I'm, st I'm paying this amount that I'm paying every, every month. And it's buying me nothing. And well, why are you paying it for starting now? Why did I start now? Well, I figured out if I waited till I was like 90 or 80 something... It would have cost me the same if I added up what I'm paying now to then. It would be it would it averages out the same price. So I decided to take it at the lesser of the price because if I took it when I was much older, I would have to pay a lot more. But it would if you were to back that up all these years that I'm younger, it averages out. I don't know. Did I? Mm -hmm. I didn't explain yeah, that very no, it, well. It, Sounds pretty Sounds, close. It's if you start when you're young, it's at a lower rate. But if I waited till I was older, it would be at a higher rate. But if you added up all those years from the lower rate, it would add up to the same price as the, what it would be if you took it at the higher rate. So I decided I might as well be covered all this time, just in case. You mm -hmm. never know. I might need something from the dentist again. You never know. <laughs> never know. That's the only one, the only place I've had to have anything and I've had to have an antibiotic when I had the tooth pulled. Other than that, uh, I'm pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that. Well, that's the video for today and thank you Lala Farms for this beautiful t-shirt. I will wear this tomorrow. I might have to put a, a turtleneck underneath only because we're cold here. As you saw, we have a lot of snow. <laughs> It's not the warmest. I'm not one to wear short sleeves just yet. In fact, I've got two shirts on today, so I'll wear... I have, I have like five or six black turtlenecks. And the reason I have five or six black turtlenecks is when I worked at McDonald's. I wore short sleeve shirts there, and so I would put a turtleneck underneath. And so this way I have a lot of turtlenecks. In fact, I have one turtleneck that I, when I was working there, 
I had used some bleach and the bleach got on it and so now that's got a pinkish pinkish streak and it doesn't disappear. I probably could bleach I could um dye put it but I haven't. I just leave it. So that's my video for today. I hope you all had a great day and I'll talk to y'all again tomorrow. Bye. Oh wait, no no don't go. Don't go. Don't go. And that little video I put up of the chicken, that was just for me to try out the shorts. I have watched a, quite a few of them and I thought, well, I'll just try one. And because I have the iPod, I was able to do it and Emily came over and showed me how to put it on the computer. Now we'll go. Mm -hmm. Bye!